Welcome back to the Tianjin Golden Metropolitan Polo Club here in China with the 2015 Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup. And today is day three. We're getting ready for match number two of the day. It's going to be between Argentina and England. Well, at day one, actually Peru gave uh, England a pretty good surprise. Uh, the game actually ends at 6-5 after two rounds of penalty shootout in favor of um, England winning the game. And Argentina actually lost their first game against New Zealand, which we just see uh, at the score of 5-7. Uh, so certainly it would be a pretty good matchup here between two powerhouses, the, the England versus Argentina. Well, obviously, with uh, Toby Thompson here, Toby, <laughs> How would you see, how would you value those two teams? Because it was, it was kind of a surprise for me to see England was having a, such a tight game against Peru. But um, how do how you think about this matchup here? Uh, well, from, from what I can see, I mean, it's a different lineup for England this year. Uh, it's, it's, it's a younger lineup, um, a very skillful younger lineup. You know, Jack Richardson, Max Routledge. And uh, Matt Perry coming off playing in, uh, you know, for Zakara during the summer season in the UK. So they're, they're all very skillful young guys, and uh, they'll be looking to make an impact because they've got a lot resting on it, being winners of last year. So um, they're going to want to hold on to it. So let's see what happens. Uh, Jack Richardson, our uh, last year's MVP, uh, the guy that led the England team to beat Hong Kong China in the final to claim the third edition of the Snow Polo World Cup here in Tianjin. So the defending champion now get a first win over Peru, looking for the second victory here of this year's tournament. And Argentina is the first run up of 2013. They skipped last year in Tianjin here and good to have them back in the fight of the championship and obviously the Argentina band will be a lot more excited here. Yeah. Slightly louder than any time other before. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Being very patriotic. And certainly looking at the Argentina team's lineup, we got two six gold handicap player here, Romaria Atraverse and Jacinto Croto. interesting matches to look forward to look forward to and again nice nice weather here in Tianjin big win here going end to end and after this match there'll be the the Canada versus uh, Peru to some of today's schedule here. And good to have our audience here with us at Now TV, Now Sports here. Be sure to tune in every day for these two weeks, starting at 1 p.m. here with our live coverage, complete live coverage on Now Sports Channel 630 and 632. So we're getting set for the introduction of match number eight, second game of the day, number three between Argentina and England.
So before we begin, and for the introduction, we uh, this is time for the national anthem. First, for Argentina. This time, national anthems of England. So the both teams and our spectators are ready for the introduction of both teams player first introducing team Argentina Number 1 here four goal handicap player one Cruz Gregory Number two, a six goal handicap player, one Maria Echevers. And number three, six goal handicap, Jacinto Croto. Okay, for England, we have Matt Perry at number one on five goal handicap in the uh, burgundy helmet. At number two, Max Routledge in the green helmet on five goal handicap. And completing the trio is Jack Richardson on six goals in the blue helmet. And the umpire of the game, Fergus Gould and Steve Evans, the third man referee inside, Ben Turner. So, England versus Argentina. First chucker about to get underway. Horses are lined up, ball goes into play. Max Rout is standing on the ball. Argentina with the backhand. Jack Richardson putting a bit of pressure and putting a stick up, appealing for the foul, which he gets awarded. That'll be Greguli having a foul awarded against him. Jack Richardson to take the penalty for England. Matt Perry making a run for it. Jack Richardson with a nice shot upfield. But on sadly, it just pops over the back line. So it's going to be a knock-in for Argentina here. England looking to 
mark up here. Crotto with the knock in. Routledge putting a bit of pressure on uh, Greg Uli. Called off it by uh, Crotto. Crotto hits upfield. Max Perry to stab himself on the line. Plays on the near side. Echevez. Echevez for Antina. Ball pops up in the air. Crotto on the ball for Argentina. Backhand attempt there by Max Routledge. The whistle's gone. Play's been stopped. And a penalty's been awarded. Would appear it's been awarded to uh, Argentina. So the England players making their way behind the goal line as it's an undefended penalty. Well, we're about to see the first goal on the scoreboard in Argentina's favour. Let's see. Joaquín Crotto to take it for Argentina. Approaches the ball very casually. No big wind up whatsoever. Does get a hold of the ball, but I think it's run wide. Is it no, good? They've, they've, it's good. It's gone through the post. So they've been awarded that goal. So 1 0 to Argentina against England. So a better, better view of it. It did catch the wind, but it's still, it's still been deemed a goal. So England knocking in here. Argentina in defence. Greguli on the ball. Matt Perry putting pressure on. Jack Richardson. Jack Richardson. So another penalty has been awarded in favour of Argentina again. It was awarded against Jack Richardson there. I believe for a bit of obstruction. So we could see another goal by means of penalty from Argentina. Jacinto Crotto to take. Another big hit and another goal. 2-0 in favour of Argentina very early on in the first chukka. Four minutes left. Not a great start for England. So, Argentina dominating possession here. This backhand shot there by Crotto. Big swing of the stick there from the Argentines, appealing for the foul, and a whistle's gone. to have a little wait time as Reguli. Sorry to change his pony here. There's a very quick change of horse. Back on the field, unlike we had yesterday. I can't remember who it was, but uh, it was a good 15 minute break, yeah. if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. I, th I think I'd gone through a coffee already. But none of the players would want to wait too long here because today is a lot more chilly and windy here. Three penalties in a row awarded to Argentina, but this time finally well, a miss. A <laughs> pitch the post. England will be, will be pleased with that. This hasn't been the uh, probably the start they've been looking for. Okay, Jack Richardson on the ball. Nice hit up, boys. Matt Perry to receive. Pressure on from the Argentines. Offside backhand, open towards the boards. 
Echevez running along the boards of the ball. Pressure on from Max Routledge. Presses him against the boards. Oh, a bit of a sandwich there. Oh. Looks like there's, uh, there's been the a whistle. knock there. I think someone's taking a knock. He says yep. he's not very pleased. He's screaming. I believe that the person who's the players who scream is the uh, number two man at first. Yep. Direct hit at the. So as you can see here, Max Routledge, you know, giving him a bit of a rough up, and then Jack Richardson comes in and gives him a bit of a sandwich, <laughs> just a T-bone, so <laughs> if yes, you like. T-bone. You know, yeah, have a bit of that. But uh, the refs have said no. We don't like that. <laughs> The horse has even got involved as well. I think he even nipped him. Somewhat of a rivalry here between England and uh, Argentina, as some of you might know. So, England in possession. Jack yeah. Richardson opening his shoulders up and going for the big shot. Unfortunately, it sort of slices off out into the crowd. So the play's been stopped. Just under three minutes left in the uh, first chugging here. Steve Evans having a word. Ball back in play. Argentina emerging victoriously from that lineup. Crotto. Crotto and Routledge having a bit of a, uh, a push here. Routledge going for the under the next shot. Backed up by Matt Perry. Pushes against the boards for the ricochet. Jack Richardson goes through, gets hooked out of it. Matt Perry there picking up nicely behind him. Argentina with the backhand, doesn't get a hold of it. Matt Perry with the ball. Echevez does get a hold of it. Jack Richardson pushes it forward. He'll be looking here. Oh, he's gone for the he, bit of a bit of a grey area that shot that one. I believe that Jack Richardson claimed the foul there. So he's come. He, he, he's he's gone for the hook across his horse, which isn't allowed. So you have to be on the same side of the horse to make it. So he's gone under the horse's neck and uh, and went for the hook. Fouls gained. Uh, so we get a 30 yard up. penalty here for England. They'll be looking to put their first goal on the board here. Jack Richardson to take. Winds up, gets a hold of it, and it runs wide, just left of the goal. So, no first goal for England yet. So, he winds up, and it just shirks, shirks right. This is a 2 0. So, ball's back in play. Crotto in possession, takes it out to the right. Big shot, nice big hit. Unfortunately, it heads into the, uh, the woods. The, uh, it's, it's the problem with hitting the ball so big when the, in these, uh, these arena balls, because once you get up there, the wind's a bit heavier, so uh, it can blow it completely off course. It's a with the near side back. Richardson there to collect. Richardson again. Richardson going for the next shot, puts it through very nicely. Oh, can he pick it up again? Oh, he appeals to the foul, doesn't get it. Echevez wasn't, wasn't crossing his line there. Matt Perry, nice open backhand. Jack Richardson there to collect very, very nicely. Can he hold on to it? Oh, he has. He'll be wanting, oh, oh no, the no. horse just kicks it over the back line. That's unlucky. Argentina to hit him. It's actually a nice turn by Jack Richardson. Yeah, there was a great little pass there by Matt Perry, picked up beautifully by Richardson. Argentina puts it up. 30 seconds left in this chucker, and the whistle's gone again. 
out. So a penalty will be awarded to England. Across the wrong line. Against Chiquito Corto. So hit from the spot for England. Not much time left for the first chucker. 25 so seconds. Richardson will be looking to, to really just basically send this one straight through the goals. So big hit I anticipate here. There he is. Oh no, he's going to tap it in, takes it in slowly. He's going to take his time. You know, a lot of bunching up here from the rest of the ponies. Echeverse horse just standing on the top of it. Richardson making a break for it. Taps it forward, very skillfully done. What a nice shot, and it's just no! What bad luck England are having on these last two bits of the goal. Just six seconds goal left goal. here. So, and that's the end of the first chucker. Argentina on top with a 2 0 lead. It's not massive. Yeah. Couple of good golden opportunity for Team England, but not able to capitalize. So the score now is 2 0 Argentina lead after first trucker. back we're about to uh, get underway with the second chucker of the Argentina versus England game and to uh, to recap it's 2-0 to Argentina coming off the first chucker so a bit of a lackluster start from England I hope that they're going to start to uh, rejuvenate Alan Kent's probably had a good word with them and uh, they come back a bit stronger in this match obviously being a bit biased here but what do you reckon Ed Con? There's two shots which is very close. One actually hits the goalpost, and the other one just slightly off the post. So it could be 2 2 at the end. Well, there's two close shots that the England gets in the first chucka. One actually hit the goalpost, the other one just slightly off. So it could be 2 2 actually after the end of first, but it's just bad luck for England in the first chucka. Hopefully, get it back in the second chucka here. We'll make sure we turn your mic on in time next time, shall we? Oh, definitely do. <laughs> so it's 2 0. Argentina leads up to one. All right, seconds out. Teams lining up. Ball back to play. So it started with a knock in from Argentina. What a great hit upfield by Crotto. 
Echevez there, getting a lot of pressure there from Matt Perry. Echevez on the near side, can he get it? Oh, unlucky. That was very, very unlucky for, uh, for Echevez there. That was uh, skillfully done. Taken on the near side, the angle just wasn't open enough. As you can see. So Perry and Echevez here going for it. Echevez on the near side, nice little tap, just doesn't get enough for, get behind it enough for the angle. Okay, Jack Richardson, big hit outfield. Perry. Perry to play on the near side. Takes it towards the boards. Puts it back into play. Jack Richardson. A lot of shouting going on, a lot of sticks in the air. Richardson. Oh, ball stolen by Argentina. Argentina having a good run. Jacinto Croto having a good run. Checks up his horse. Looks behind him. Sees it there. Oh, bad bounce. But picked up. Jose Maria Alza. Oh, ridden off there by Jack Richardson. Can he get it in? No. Oh, his ball's back in play. Routledge clears. Routledge and Perry. Perry takes it out the air. Very nicely. Perry. Oh, Croto with the near side back, putting it back in the danger zone for Argentina. Oh, Argentina on approach for goal. Oh, and it's in again. Argentina take it to 3-0. Nice little goal there by Gregouli. That, 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 uh, that near side back put it back in the danger zone from Croto. As you can see here, Croto with that near side back. Gregouli turning on it. One tap, didn't even think about it. Just puts it towards goal and slots it home. Jack Richardson with a big hit. Out of play. So now the Argentine is up three. <laughs> oh, where are they? <laughs> uh, that's the, the Argentine, the Argentine uh, fans cheerleaders here. going on. Jack Richardson with the back. Gregouli. Skillfully keeping it in. Denied by Jack Richardson. Nice ride off. Takes it straight off him. Goes for a run. Appeals for it. Says, my line. Goes down to the next shot. Doesn't get a hold of it. But Max Routledge does. Unfortunately, he sends it straight out. The wind's picking up now, so this uh, the aerial balls aren't faring so good. It's in 20 seconds to left in the second chapter. Certainly going to be a crucial game for Argentine, having lost the first game. So Jack Richardson pushing hard here. Leaving nothing in it, these boys. So signaling 33 minutes left in the second chapter. Oh! One of the ponies taking a bit of a tumble, and uh, it looks like Gregouli has taken a bit of a tumble. Hopefully he's not hurt himself. Maybe just a bit of a wind knocked out of him. So we can see the ponies taking a bit of a stumble, gone down head first. Gregouli's hit quite hard on his elbow there. He'll. Uh, He'll be feeling that right about now. But uh, whether or not he's going to get back on or whether they're, uh, they'll have a reserve. Oh, right, yep. So here we see uh, Reguli here. Still not feeling not only the shoulder, yeah, that, that the, left the neck. elbow is looking a bit of a. Uh, where he took most of the most of the impact there, and he's obviously shunted his neck a bit. But he's not exiting the uh, the arena. Hat's going back on, so uh, she says, "Let's get back into it." And uh, change of pony. And he's okay, ready to get back into the game. Okay, we'll resume with the lineup. Let's 
Steve Evans said, come on, get it together. And he throws the ball in. Oh, ball's popped up in the end, no one there. Matt Perry, England win the rider. Yeah. Oh, oh. foul's gone. Jack Richardson appealing for the foul there. And the goal score by Team England. So England does get their first goal on the scoreboard. Knock in from Argentina. They haven't quite cleared it from the danger zone yet. Now they have. Big shot upfield. Oh, skillfully done. Echevez cracks that one straight out the air. Hits it out left. Checks up nicely. Goes for a big hit towards goal. Great shot. Oh, unlucky. It just runs wide. They are in top form, the Argentines, today. They, um, they're doing very, very well. They're very organized, very accurate. Jack Richardson puts the ball back in play. Goes for a big hit. Sends it out right again. Hopefully, it's not going to go out. And it bounces and hits the board. It's very nice. Richards is on the near side, but he comes across Estevez's line to play this shot, so he infringes. And the foul will be awarded to Argentina. So it's close to a minute and a half left in the second chakra now. 3 1. Still, the Argentina sub by two. Penalty is awarded to Argentina. So Croto to take for Argentina. Looking to make it 4 1. Scrotto is trying to put the ball at the 20 yard line, realizing it's going to be a 30 yard penalty. <laughs> put the ball back. He's, uh, he's smoothing the, the ground here, so I'd imagine he's going to go for a, a thumper of a shot, wind up completely. a half shot, connects lovely and it's a goal. Beautifully executed shot. So Jack Richardson bring the ball back into play. Pops his head up, looks for the player, spots Max Routledge outright, hits it, comes off, Echeves' pony. Jack Richardson still in pursuit. Another big hit, swings and misses. Fortunately, Max Routledge out there, comes in, takes the ball. Crotto with a near side back, putting it towards the England goal. The wind blows it off course and behind the back line. So, knock in for England. Full swing straight off the bat from Jack Richardson. Puts it up to Matt Perry, gets a hold of it. Good effort by Crotto, but doesn't get onto it. Draguli on the near side, runs over the top of the ball. Echevez behind him. He's going to put that behind the back wall again. 30 seconds left in the second chucker. 4-1 to Argentina. Ball back in play. Argentina take possession straight from the back. Crotto runs over it. Perry goes for a near side back, misses. Jack Richardson pushes up. 
Perry running along the board. And the end of the second chucker, leaving it 4-1 to Argentina. So two more score, two more goals for Argentina, second chucker. Only one after two chucker for England now, down by three goals, so four to one. Great to have everyone back here with us here, getting set for the final chakka of the of today's second game between Argentina and England. Oh, definitely not only us, but the horses as well, the ponies, trying to stay warm here. It's getting cold, the wind picking up. But as we've seen in uh, the second chakka, England is trying a lot of back the, the big shots here, but the wind's not helping at all. No, a lot of them are getting blown off course. Um, unfortunately for them, they've had a good couple of cracks at goal. It's just been uh, it's been unfortunate. They've been unlucky, I must admit. Yep. Um, they're not as aggressive as the Argentines, but they've got a lot of ground to cover back now. They've got a three-goal deficit that they need to claw back. So um, they're going to have to up their game and uh, turn the volume up. Well, as we're entering the final chunker now, change size, the wind may be in favor of England. So hopefully it will be much helpful and see if they can give us the same kind of performance that we saw in the first chunker. Okay, ball back in play. Jack Richardson on the ball. Hits it up to Matt Perry, comes off one of the Argentine players' ponies. Pressure there from uh, from Graguli, goes to the back shot, but runs across the line. The Argentine players having a bit of a uh, conference about whether that was a good good decision, good shot to play or not. Echevez was of the opinion it wasn't. So penalty to England. They'll be looking to put another goal here to bring it up to 4-2. Can they do it? Jack Richardson to take this penalty. Winds up. Smack. 
and it's run wide. Again, unlucky. Just off break. Argentines, the big shot upfield, but it seems to have gone outright where it's been going quite a bit today in the first two chuckers. Swinging and missing. Having another run at it. He's going to want to check up here and turn the ball as opposed to backing it. Yeah, nicely done. Turns it, big hit up. Jack Richardson pops right in front of him, but the wind's got a hold of it again. The Argentines with an open back shot. Picking up nicely. Jack Richardson, oh, swings and misses. Routledge on the ball. Pressure from Griguli. Richardson again, taps it forward, has a nice run by himself. Uh, Chotto. Crotto just stops him from uh, progressing further there. Routledge puts it back, sets Matt Perry up. Perry gets a hold of the ball, takes it towards the boards. Echevez, great backhand by Echevez. Routledge pushing hard against Reguli. Jack Richardson in possession. Griguli going for the hook. Routledge picking up. Oh, Echevez swinging twice there, not quite getting it. Perry and Echevez going for a good run here. Can he catch up with him? It, nice hook from uh, Matt Perry there. Definitely picked up by uh, Jack Richardson, who turns it. Checks, hits towards boards, sends it just out of play. And the whistle's been blown. So we're almost halfway through the final chucker. And it's still 4 1. Jack Richardson in possession. Echevez running over the top of it. Routle is pushing hard. Big foul there against Argentina. All right, it too, Argentina. So England take the penalty. Hopefully they can convert this one. And it's good. So 4-2 to England, uh, to Argentina. Three minutes exactly left in the chucker. So plenty of time left for England. Not plenty, but enough to put enough. a couple of goals in if they can. Perry taking it towards the boards. Holds on to it. Echevez with a nice back shot. Jack Richardson there to pick the ball up though. No Argentine player there to receive the pass. Richardson taking his time. Echevez putting pressure on him. Great shot upfield in front of goal from Jack Richardson. That's going to be a goal. Oh, and very nicely cleared by Crotto. Good effort there from uh, Jack Richardson. And you see Richardson puts it upfield. And look at that, Crotto with the, just that, that millisecond of difference between the goal and clearing it and uh, just saving the goal. So you can get another penalty here. Something's happened just after the clearance. In fact, it's gonna be a corner. So they knocked the ball out of play after he cleared the ball. 
So, match Routledge to take this penalty. Can they uh, bring the lead down to one goal? Half swing, hits it, and it's good. 4-3, Argentina, England, with one minute 56 on the clock. So, not so much of a difference between them now. They should rejuvenate the England team. It's just, they should uh, taste blood in the water, come back strongly. But the Argentines might want to hang on to the ball and waste a bit of time here. Oh, puts it by. You can hear the uh, Argentine uh, cheerleading squad in the background somewhere. Still trying to cheer up the <laughs> Argentine players right there. But oh, there they are. Two minutes. They seem fairly jubilant. Two they minutes seem to think there's a foregone conclusion. But there's still one more minute to go. There is. Great hit upfield by the Argentines. Jack Richardson tries to play on the near side. Oh, oh. RG's getting a, getting a good run at goal here. Can they put it through? Oh, they've got it. They've got it. They bring it up to 5-3. Oh, I, I, I fear that may signal the end of this match for, uh, for England. With 40 seconds left on the clock and England still to take the knock-in. They're going to waste no time here, bringing the ball back downfield. As you see, the Argentine, easy goal there. 30 seconds to go. It's almost another goal <laughs> at the end there for, uh, for Argentina. Jack Richardson just getting there in time. Max Routledge having a good old run. Greg Uli putting pressure on him, takes him out the game there. That's going to be the end of it. Seven seconds to go. Ball's dead. And that's it. Argentina, five, England, three. The Argentine is trying to slow down a little bit when they're entering the final chaka. England be able to get two more goals, but no surprise chance for Argentina around the end so one more goal at the third chaka for Argentina so to score 5-3 to Argentina
and it is time for our full game highlight between Argentina and England. A little bit more surprise for Argentina to be able to defeat the defending champion in this game. Well, too early goal for Argentina and unfortunate miss by England at first shocker. Great golden opportunity for Team England to equalize in the first shocker, but as you can see, Jack Richardson here missing the penalty shot. So it's 2 0 after the first shocker. And things just got worse for England as Argentina scored an early goal in the second shocker. Which brings the score to 3 0. However, Team England was able to capitalize this short distance penalty to make the score 3-1. But again, great penalty shot by Argentina, making score 4-1 by the end of uh, second chunker. And a great, great fight back by Team England there at the chunker. Um, Will they be able to make two goals in two minutes? And to make the score, SIS to 4 3 around the end. This is the, the third goal. Close, very close. But Jacinto Croto, or Argentina, make the safe. So it could be 4 4 actually. But a good save by Croto with the addition of this penalty shot. Score is 4-3, but that's the closest that the England team could get. And near the final minute of the third chakra, a surprise opportunity for Team Argentina. And they make that count, so make the final score 5-3. Argentina, one win, one loss after two games. Same for England. Congratulations to Argentina. Yeah, first, first of all, thank you very much. Um, uh, we always try to keep on going. Uh, represent Congratulations to Argentina. Thank, thank you very much. much. Congratulations to Argentina. And what do you think about your team today? Because we can tell that the team spirit really, really strong today. Yeah, first, first of all, thank you very much. Um, yes, the team went much better. Um, uh, we always try to keep on going. Uh, represent Argentina is a, it's a great honor. And we always try our best. Uh, and especially playing against a, a very good team of England that are very powerful. Uh, it doesn't matter in grass or snow, they're very good. And uh, it started, they were very tough and they played very well. And it was, uh, we are very happy. 
you guys for that. And next competition, you're going to versus Canada. Any tactics or strategy that will work out? Um, we'll go there and keep on trying to play our way, uh, trying our best always, and trying to make uh, keep on doing and get big effort to keep on uh, having good good uh, results. Any um, ambitions on the championship? Uh, we are representing Argentina. Our mission is always to win. Uh, we cannot go for less than that. But it's very tough. Uh, both the 11 teams plus ours, they are, they are very strong. And again, uh, England is a very, very good squad. Uh, Max, Matt and, uh, and Jack, they are very, very good. So it's a, and very good guys. So keep on trying. Once again, congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. And a good effort by Team Argentina now with uh, one win and one loss after two games. Next game, it would be, could be an easy match for Argentina going against Canada who lost 1-9 to Brazil. But it's going to be tough for England playing Brazil and on day five, their third match. They got one win and one loss now after two games with England beating Peru but lost to Argentina. So coming up next, we're going to have Canada versus Peru for the final match of today, day number three of the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup 2015.